Hi everyone, my name is Maciek and I'm a customer success manager here at Tidio. And today I want to show you how to set up and utilize and test Lyro, our new approach to AI chatbots. So Lyro is able to utilize your FAQ page or a set of questions and answers that you add manually to it and then have natural conversations with your customers. But how exactly is it going to work? Let me show you. So we are in a TDO panel. It is a brand new project that I created. Um, and then we can go to solutions and in here we have Lyra available. As you can see, we have a little instruction here, but just to show you how exactly easy it is to um, add Lyra and set it up, we will go ahead and set it up uh, manually during the demo. So um, in order to set up Lyra, uh, we have to first accept our terms of conditions and, and on usage of AI. And then after that, we have two ways of uploading our data. We can either import our FAQ page from our website, or we can go ahead and create the FAQs from scratch manually. Since I have um, a FAQ page available, um, I will be using um, an FAQ page from our friends at Ad Hoc uh, Atelier. Uh, hopefully I pronounced it cor uh, correctly. Um, and I will utilize it to showcase how Lyro is able to collect that data and then utilize it in a conversation. So we can uh, skip down to the FAQ part of the website. And in here we have those questions and answers listed. So as you can see, um, we have a question and then after clicking, we have an answer. And in order to add all of those into Lyra, we can quickly copy the link to this, uh, to this FAQ page, go back to the panel, and now we can choose import FAQ from your website. I click next, I paste the link, import, and then after a while, I already have Lyra ready to go with the questions that I just implemented. But I won't spoil the fun just yet, let me now show you how exactly Lyra imported those questions. So now when I go to the uh, data sources, we have FAQs here, we can open them up and there are all the questions that Lyra was able to find and scrape from this FAQ page. Of course, we can manage them however we want. We can um, delete them. We can edit them if we want to change some context, you know, some content. We can, of course, add new questions as well. So that's also a possibility. We can constantly upgrade, update this um, questions list. Um, and then when we are ready, we can go ahead and either activate Lyra or test it out. So let's simply go to the um, playground mode here. And as you can see, I have already sent a message to start, start Lyro up. So let's see what is going to happen. And as you can see, Lyro um, reacts to it, says, hello, my name is Lyro, smart and friendly bot created by Tidio. Nice to meet you. I'm supposed to answer your questions based on company's FAQ and feel free to ask any questions. So Lyro is already informing you that it is ready to start a conversation. So we can already provide it with some questions. And um, I'm going to ask a question about shipping. So um, what is the shipping time for uh, Poland? Let's go like that. And then after a while, we we should be getting an answer from Lyra. There we go. For Poland, shipping time is three to five business days for ready to ship items. And what is important to note here is that Lyra doesn't really know about shipping time specifically for Poland. Um, because in the FAQs um, for Ad Hoc Atelier, we have info about continental shipment. So. Lyro is not only able to know that, um, uh, you know, shipment for Europe is, you know, three to five days uh, for ready to ship items. It is also able to understand that Poland is indeed in Europe, recognize it all and then provide the right information. But now let's go ahead and ask what about uh, Japan? Like that. And then once again, after a while, for Japan, shipping time starts from three to five business days and can take up to four weeks for crafted items. As you can see, it changed simply because Japan is in a different continent. But there is also a second thing happening here. As you can see, I didn't ask about shipment to Japan. I just said, what about Japan? And Lyra was able to answer that question simply because it also takes into consideration the context of the messages. So if I weren't to ask this question first, that one would make no sense. Lyra wouldn't really know what we were referring to. But since I initially asked about shipping, 
Lyra now understands that the second question is also referring to that. Um, additionally, there are no such answers in those FAQs. There is only info about them, and those messages are fully generated by Lyro. So it's not a copy and paste of the messages that we have in the FAQs. Lyro is actually able to learn from the data that we provide it with and then generate its own messages and truly have a natural conversation with our customers. But now let's ask something that Lyro isn't going to know. So. Um, for me to reach Mars. Let's go with such a question. And as you can see, Lyro is able to admit when it's defeated. And it will say, I apologize, but I did not have enough information in the FAQ to determine how long it would take to reach Mars. And also it provides a link to the FAQ page from which it is taking the info. Um, and of course, if we see a situation like that, we can simply say, take me to an operator and then after a while absolutely i'm transferring you to a human right away and when we go into the inbox section we can see that in unassigned we do indeed have this conversation available to us we can see everything that lyra was chatting about with this customer and up, up until the point of the transfer not only that at any point we can see what lyra is currently doing who they are chatting with simply because we want to give you control over lyra we don't want lyra to be an annoying addition to your um, to your business where you are not really sure if Lyro is actually helping your customers or, or not we want you to be fully aware of everything that Lyro is doing and we want Lyro itself to also not force people to go through with its solutions as you could see as soon as the customer wanted to go to a human Lyra didn't try to forcefully answer the questions or help them it simply transferred it and fulfilled the request so Lyra is a true MVP and a great addition to each and any business so um, hopefully this demo uh, was informative for you um, as you could see, the setup itself was pretty easy. We just paste the link or add the questions manually. And after that, Lyro is ready to answer questions and have natural conversations with your customers. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Take care.